Hello everyone, and welcome to Noodle Journey, your destination for detailed and informative reviews of the Instant Noodle universe. And today, I'm doing something I've never done before. If this looks familiar, it's because this is going to be a re-review of a product I reviewed about nine months back that's gone through a complete overhaul by its manufacturer. This is an updated version of ramen toppers, chashu pork, fish cake, and vegetable mix. Before we begin, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. It's your support of this channel that helps its visibility so that I can do reviews like this. And allow me to explain what I mean by that, because there's a story here, if you'll give me a minute to tell it. So first off, if you're unfamiliar with this product, it's a dried mix of pork, fish cake, and vegetables that you boil with your noodles as a convenient way of adding some toppings to your ramen bowl. And back in September of 2023, I bought and reviewed this product, and I had some issues with it. Two of the major issues were, one, I found the texture and flavor of the pork slices to be bland and tough, and two, I found the quality and the appearance of the vegetables used in the mix was not appealing, which led me to my third and overall issue, which was that I had a hard time recommending ramen toppers at its $25 price tag in light of those other two issues I had. So if you're interested in that breakdown, I recommend you go back and watch my original video to get some context for this new review. So out of the blue, a couple weeks ago, Ramen Toppers contacted me directly and said they had done some major improvements to this product and wanted to see if I was interested in doing a re-review. And I said yes, immediately. If there's one thing I can respect about a business, it's when they listen to feedback and improve their products accordingly. So here I am taking a look at this updated recipe of their chashu pork fish cake and vegetable mix, which is current as of June 2024. So I will open this up in a minute to show you the ingredients, but let me tell you what's improved about this since the last recipe. And I'm going to quote the email that I received from Ramen Toppers here. The chashu pork in here is marinated overnight with a Japanese recipe consisting of umami rich ingredients such as soy sauce, ginger, garlic, sesame oil, green onions, sake, ajimirin, and more, and then seared for extra flavor. The Naruto Maki is full size and authentic, sourced directly from Yamasa Fish Cake, Inc. And the freeze dried and air dried vegetables are all new and now maintain texture, color, flavor, and rehydrate perfectly. So there we go. This new canister should directly improve upon everything I griped about in the first review. One last note before I open this up if you want to buy ramen toppers, they sell direct to consumer on both Amazon and Etsy and this particular product currently sells for $24.99 US. This product is made in the USA, which I know is very important for a lot of you. Okay, so let's open this up and start looking at the different ingredients. All right, so inside here, we've got a mixture of seasoned pork, fish cake, and then your vegetables, which are corn, peas, cabbage, carrots, mung beans, and green onions. And it just so happens that I still have my old canister of ramen toppers that I've worked through a bit since filming the original review. And uh, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison on some of the old ingredients with this new one because there's a couple of things I want to highlight here. So let's start by looking at the pork. As you can see in the old version, compared to the new version, they've opted to reduce the size of the slices for this new recipe. So instead of having like a dozen or so of these big slices in here, they've now got quite a few of these smaller bite-sized chunks now. So turning these into smaller pieces should greatly improve the texture almost entirely by itself. And of course there is the updated recipe to consider for the flavor of these. Now the fish cake, the old version versus the new version, you can see that these are much more vibrant looking. They're also a little bit thinner than in the previous version, which you may be able to see from here. They just overall look a lot nicer. And finally, last time, I really took issue with the pale appearance of the vegetables, in particular the carrots. Uh, look at this. That pale little thing right there is a carrot. Here is what a carrot should look like. In fact, looking at the vegetables side by side, you can see a noticeable difference in the appearance here, which hopefully translates to quality as well. These are kind of pale and sickly looking, and this is exactly what freeze-dried vegetables should look like. So now that we've got the visual comparison out of the way, I am dying to try this. In preparation for this video last week, I made some ramen using this old canister to refresh my memory on the texture and flavor. So I've got that fresh in my taste buds memory. Uh, for this review, I am going to use the exact same ramen product I used in the first review, which is Nissin Damai Black Garlic Oil Tonkotsu Flavor. This is something I keep on hand all the time. It's one of my favorite cheap tonkotsu flavors. 
And if being a tonkotsu, it's gonna pair very well with all of this stuff. So ramen toppers needs four minutes to rehydrate. This needs three minutes to cook. I'm gonna go start this in some boiling water, add these after a minute, and I will be right back. All right, friends, here we go. I added a very generous amount of ramen toppers to my boiling water. And I wanna say the very first thing I noticed was this wonderful aroma hitting my nostrils the second I put everything in the boiling water. It was a very strong oniony garlicky smell. And I'm guessing that that is the marinade of these pork pieces coming back to life the second they hit the water. There wasn't really any aroma with the previous version of this recipe and yeah. It smelled really great. Hopefully it tastes good too. I'm gonna to go through the ramen topper ingredients one by one and then give the broth a taste to see if the flavor has been altered in any significant way. So here we go. All right, we got a little bit of everything. Um, first off, the broth was not significantly changed by this. None of the vegetables, pork or fish cake gave the broth any kind of funny aftertaste. That's really great. So let's start the review proper with what I think is the most important element, the pork. This is miles better than it used to be. I don't know of any other company that makes freeze dried pork for ramen. So when the pork slices in the original canister were a little tough and under seasoned, I was disappointed. This time around, they are tender. They have a nice seared texture without being tough. And as promised, the flavor is outstanding. All of those extra ingredients that they told me about in their original email that went into the marinade of these pork pieces, it worked. Now, it is freeze dried. It's not gonna replace the quality you would get if you made this yourself or got it in a restaurant. But from a perspective of how convenient it is to be able to just pull out a jar of shelf-stable pork for whenever you need it and have it come out tender and flavorful, this is awesome. These are delicious. The new ingredients used in the marinade are pronounced and flavorful. I'm completely happy with this already. So let's talk about the fish cake, which is also called Naruto Maki. Um, I didn't have a problem with these last time. They were already good. The flavor was right. They were cut a little thick, but they rehydrated well, and they were the best part of the original canister. Ramen Toppers has sourced these from a legitimate Japanese manufacturer, Yamasa, which you might find in the frozen section of your local Asian market if you have one. And these are noticeably a little bit better than in the original recipe. They're nice and mild. They have a great supple texture, not quite as thick, which I think is just right. Uh, if you've never had Naruto Maki before, think of it like a more firm version of an artificial crab stick. It's a mild and sweet fish flavor with a nice supple bite to it. So the original ramen toppers Naruto Maki was already good, and this is still good. And then lastly, let's talk about the veggies. So last time around, we had weirdly white carrots and mealy peas and crunchy corn that clearly did not rehydrate fully. The carrots look so much better this time, which is great, we eat with our eyes first. They also taste better, they're soft, they taste like a good carrot. The texture on the corn is where it's supposed to be. The peas and mung beans are not mealy this time. Whatever changed in the vegetable drying process, it was for the better because everything in here rehydrated the way it should and tastes better. I'll let you all debate whether or not peas and corn belong in ramen. They're not my favorites, but this time around they aren't distractingly crunchy with a weird texture. The rest of the veggies, like the cabbage and the green onions, I didn't have any issue with before, and I don't have any issue with now. So I can't single out anything I dislike about this from a texture or flavor perspective. And I mean that for everything. So now we come to the new score. I am amazed at how much Ramen Toppers has improved this product. They changed the elements that weren't working. From a value perspective, 
for $25, you get better pieces of pork and fish cake than you did last time with a better pork recipe and better quality vegetables. Now, that $25 is only 5.64 ounces, which I know some of you may find a little steep, but if it helps, this was 32 ounces of ingredients before the dehydration process, which makes it a little more palatable if you think of it that way. So I think on a normal day, I would give this an eight or a nine out of 10 because I'm a little biased against peas and corn in my ramen, but considering it is such an impressive pivot from the last iteration of this product to what I've got here in this bowl now, I'm giving this a perfect score because it's small businesses like this that deserve your attention and support. So I'm giving a 10 out of 10 to this new version of Ramen Toppers. Yeah, now that this recipe is improved, I'm happy to give it my endorsement. If you're okay with the price tag for the size of this jar, and you like all the ingredients, it's worth it. You're not gonna find anything else remotely similar to this on the market in the USA. Like, if you work in an office, you want to keep a jar of this in your desk to add protein and veggies to your instant noodle lunch, this is perfect for you. If you don't have the time or inclination to make your own shashu, or maybe you don't have an easy way to get pork belly and fish cake where you live, here you go. I would have said that this was not worth the asking price nine months ago, and now it is definitely worth your consideration if it appeals to you. Simple as that. So thank you to Ramen Toppers, not only for sending the review samples, but for actively taking the steps to improve your product. I was a cynic and now I'm gonna be a customer. Uh, they did send along another one of their products for me to review, which is their vegetable mix. So keep an eye out for that review soon. From what I can tell, it's basically the vegetables in this minus the pork and fish cake. So we know the veggies are good. I'm sure that's gonna get a decent score. Keep an eye out for that review coming soon. And I hope to see you next time on Noodle Journey.